Hey folks, welcome to PFG Fishing. I'm your host, the Panfish Guy, and today's episode takes us to Truman Lake in western Missouri, home of Brush Pile Jigs pro staffer Wyatt Tucker. We brought bribes for fishing intel as this is my first time bringing my boat to Truman Lake. The Mo Fisherman and Stu the Snack Man are along for this adventure. <laughs> Bingo. Unfortunately, Wyatt was unavailable at this particular time, but we timed our visit perfectly and the spawn is in full swing. We met up with Darren and Carol, the Mushroom Queen Tucker, at a super secret location. You never know, they might be related. After we spent a day and a half on our own with underwhelming results, we were spider rigging and we managed to lose the drift stock in the process. We ended up catching some quality fish, but the numbers weren't great. So Darren and Carol got us right on our approach and it was on like Donkey Kong. So the approach you ask, cork and a brush pile jigs, white blue magic in various profiles, 12 to 16 inches deep under the bobber. I was using a brush hammer and a chub style. Mo Fisher was using the hammer as well. And Stu was using a turbo and a dart profile. We're basically just hitting the banks around the stumps, lay downs up close to the banks. And uh, it really seemed to be the key. Really need to you really didn't need to give it any action. The wind kind of handled that for us because it was windy.
Of course, they finished their limit in an hour and a half and took off to go find some mushrooms. We stayed at it and caught most of our limit where they took us to and then headed back to the launch to finish up our limits. Some Same place we were spider rigging at the previous day. But who knew? They were up on the banks, not out in the middle. I have to admit that I had never been much of a fan or a believer in the cork and jig setup for crappie, but man have I changed my mind. It was an absolute blast. Just one more reason you need to go get yourself a cart full of them brush pile jigs. You will not regret it. We have one more day on this trip and we had a special treat on that evening. Off to clean fish and have some dinner. Oh, and I forgot my blades to my electric knife, of course. So we had to make a quick stop at Everhart's Outdoors in Clinton to uh, fix that particular situation. That was a pretty cool, cool story, I have to admit. Until next time, guys. Hi, guys. Hey, looky here. Oh. Hello. Uh, Sherman Lake Limits, courtesy, courtesy of Brush Pile Jigs. Why it's blue magic. Yep. The boys did, the boys did a good job today. We had a good scout too. So that's going to do it for this episode. But make sure you check out the all new My724Outdoors.com page. Hit up the forums and post your adventures. It's great stuff. Also, check out my socials at Panfish Guy on Facebook, Daniel Palmer 5623 on Instagram, at PanfishG on Twitter, or my webpage at PanfishGuy.com. Log on and grab some swag for your favorite fisherman. If you like this video, please like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Rub a little fish slime on that notification bell so you'll be notified when I infrequently post a video. Hey! Knock it off!